Hey heroes, hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Roy Kayin, thank you so much for taking the time to check out my brand new video where we are currently playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. It has been absolutely awesome so far, so we're gonna jump straight back into it. If you enjoy the content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and here we go. Alrighty guys, we are already back on the main storyline. Volo, your real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift, quelled another frenzy Pokemon, have you? Yes, we have, guys. We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. Stop it, Volo, stop it. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. This guy's a legend, honestly. Alrighty, guys. I think we need to speak to the uh, Professor. Uh, oh, yes, we did catch a few new Pokemon. There we go. Including an Onyx, which is uh, very awesome. Oh, not too uh, shabby. Right. Let's see what else we need to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Ooh, okay, we're making making good progress here. What's this? You quelled Lady Lilligant. Smashing. <laughs> Smashing. Let's head back to the village and the commander will be wanting a report. Honestly, guys, I'm absolutely loving this game so far. The battle against Lilligant was very fun. And it looks like we are back in Jubilife Village. It's the Potato Mochi Man. Hello, sir. What does he have for us? Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognised from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. I don't know why I changed it. I kept saying mochi and then mochi. I don't know, guys. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report, your meal can wait. Well, I mean, we're on the way there and he just kind of, you know, stopped us. Oh, Benny, honestly. How is my favorite Pokemon, Eugene? Eugene is good. All right, let's hop inside the headquarters. I'm home. All right, here we go, here we go. Commander, reporting for duty, hello. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Here we go. You have your orders. Survey and research the Pokemon that live in the areas you currently have access to. I completely forgot you were the wrong commander. I need to go and see the commander that is upstairs. I keep getting them confused if I'm honest. Righty ho. Let's head all the way up here. And I wonder what our next mission is going to be. Hello, sir. I have returned. Look at that magnificent moustache. So you successfully calmed Lilligan. Yes, sir. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. The frenzies are induced by stranger lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to lightning, isn't that right? I suppose so. We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. You're going to have to bear with me throughout this game, guys, because they do throw a few complicated words out every now and then. A reason's predicament. Complete. There we go. Ah, feels good to complete one of the main missions. I don't know why it was so difficult to find her in the first place, if I'm honest. There you go. Piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. Now, this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Is this really the only food they have in town? I haven't seen them eat anything else, if I'm honest. Truly, who could ask for anything more? 
I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? These are the big questions, right? With our research or with carving out a life here? Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try Raikou in. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Yeah, she kind of she kind of went on a deep dive of dark thoughts there. Oh, we have a scatter bang. I've heard these are really useful in the game, so I'm glad we've got a recipe for those now. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise once as a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Morning, sleepyhead. Look who it is. Hello, hello. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Who would have guessed? Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? I think we might have to try this, guys. Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligant's Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Okay, she is multitasking. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Raikayen. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I think we might just do that. Kamado, I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir. Uh, so about that whole Ursa Luna situation. Oopsie. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arizu. You will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Is that a new area? That sounds very exciting. Oh, we are at the beach we started the game at. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. A very fitting location for us to have started the game. I like it. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Raikai in here, one of our Survey Corps recruit. I'm honoured, Captain. I am honoured. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. It's just like, yeah. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Raikouin, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I mean, I guess they're pretty cool. I do. I do, I do. Hmm, Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. That was a bit dramatic. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Harsh decisions. There we go, guys. Commander, I read her from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Raikayen, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Okie dokie. 
That sounds like we have been given a bit of a break in the main storyline. Um, this is really cool as well. Uh, so if I look at the map, <gasps> very cool. I didn't know we could come over here. So there is the um, village. Let's have a look around. Oh, here is a wisp, nearly missed that. Uh, there we go. I always, there we go. I always get too close. Beautiful. Ah, there's only one more wisp in this area. Hello, sir. Malden, mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt it will stay quiet and empty for long. This is true, it can't always be peaceful. Hmm, I thought I found the other wisp there, but apparently not. I'm going to make sure I check everywhere just in case I miss anything. I'm assuming we can come and go to this beach as we like now that we have basically unlocked it. And unfortunately, I don't have weird ear, uh, which is why things are a little bit slower than usual. But I can sprint, which is a very helpful. I see, I see. So Jubilee Village is just there. But before we head there, let's have a little look about. Hello, sir. Aha. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 and be the best of all. Look at that, guys. He was a poet and he didn't know it. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat. I can tell you that. Would you say sport up for a challenge? Always. I probably should have asked what the rules are or what the game is. Oh, well, it's too late now. Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, so we've got to aim it. Go, go, go. Right, just throw Pokeballs everywhere. Here we go. We got this, guys. We got this. Oopsie. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh my gosh, there's so many balloons. Here we go. Oh, pop the gold one. Pop the shiny. Yeah. Here we go. Man, this is fun. Right, I've got to aim a little bit higher. Uh, some of these aren't popping. There we go. Oh, this is, yeah, this is getting a little bit tricky. But I think I've got a hang of it. This is actually really fun. Right, there we go. Right, a few more, a few more. Here we go. Oh, there's a few shinies. Go oh, get the shinies, get the shinies. Go, 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 go. Uh oh, that one's done. How am I missing this so much? Okay, that's not working. There we go. Right, pop a few of these. There we go. Pop the big one. Oh, there's another shiny. There we go. Yep, got it, got it. I'm assuming the shinies are worth more. There we go. This is super fun. There we go. One more. Oh, hey, not too bad, not too bad. Woo, we got 17,000 points, guys. Not too shabby. We have set a record. Like I said, I've got prizes lined up to give up depending on how well you do. Based on your score, here's a prize just for you. Two scatterbangs. I feel like we didn't get a very good score, if I'm honest. Uh, although, I do hear these are very useful. Well done, Sport. Since you broke through the 10,000 point mark, you get the real prize. Nice. <gasps> Look at that. 15 great balls and a nugget. That is not too shabby. Don't think you've got to stop here. Keep aiming even higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. The better you do, the better the prizes I'll hand out. I like these guys. I like these little competitions they have scattered around. Uh, right, there should be one more wisp in this area. Although I don't know if that means Jubilife Village or just this beach area. Ah, uh, hmm, I can't see anything. No... Ah, well, I'm sure we'll find it. Right, let's head back to the uh, village. I don't know why I said that so strangely. I have to say, this game is absolutely incredible. I know I say it every time I upload a video, but honestly, there's just so much to do. And it kind of... You kind of don't have to always do the main storyline. You can just sort of have a break, do some exploring. Hello. Oh yeah, that was another side mission I had going on. Um, hmm, is there anything I need to do in town? 
I don't think there is. Although there is a um, there is a marker over there for some reason. Is there something up there? Oh, hello. There is someone up here. How may I assist you, sir? Ah, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with naught but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Think you can catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Hmm, okay. Tepig, maybe? I don't know if Tepig's in this game. Come show it to me after you catch it and I'll give you a nice reward. Alrighty, we will keep it on our list. Hmm. Oh, is our crops ready? Or is this another side quest? Wait, let me speak to this guy first, see how many apricorns we got going on. Hello. Oh, hey, great timing. We're done gathering the harvest. The crops turned out real nice, just as planned. And we have 31 apricorns, not too shabby. And seven spoiled apricorns, that's fair. Uh, should we go for a med? This signal harvest this time? Yeah, why not? I don't think we've done that before. That sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Hello. He looks super happy. Nice to see you again, Mr. Survey Corpse. You've got great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see, but we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. If you'd lend us one of your Pokemon that knows their water type move, we'd be mighty grateful. Hmm. Okay. How many Pokemon do we have that knows a water type move? Oh. Side up. We'll give them a side up. Why not? Uh, yes, go for it. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wowee, your Pokemon's an irrigation sensation. You don't hear that every day. Now I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Oh, Miller's going to make the fields bigger than ever. Sounds like he's working hard, guys. Sounds like he's working hard. And I'm all done. There we go. Whoa. He works very swiftly. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. Uh, we'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon of yours to do the watering. Alright, that was nice and easy. The uh, farming mechanic in the game is actually really helpful. Um, it gives me loads of apricorns and hopefully a lot of uh, medicinal items once we're all done here. Hmm... Right, is there anything else I need to do around here? I feel like we've already explored quite a lot. Uh, although, let's check in here, see if we can craft anything. Well, we can craft quite a lot, actually. Uh, we can craft some of these leaden balls. Am I pronouncing it right? I, I, I feel like I'm not, but there we go. Some feather balls, uh, maybe another smoke bomb or six. Uh, right, can we sell anything as well? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's just for, like, storage stuff. Hello, sir. Uh, right, what do we have? Oh, we've got a few new items. Uh, oh, so we actually have iron chunks here. That is, uh, really helpful, actually. Wait, is there anything we can sell? Because we have so much stuff, you know. I might, yeah, I might do this in my spare time and just, we'll sell the Stardust for now at least. There we go. Alrighty ho. Have we spoken to this guy? Hello. A sweet treat. Oh, we can buy like experience candy from him, can't we? Yes, that's right. Um, hmm. I feel like the medium is probably going to be more worth it, but that is super pricey. So I might just leave that for the time being. Uh, oh, we have a lot of new side quests. Okay. Hello. Hello again, value customer. We're so valued he knows our name. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tao Hua is refusing to do business with me. Again, really? He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? Again, I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring free pot pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this, he'll actually accept me. 
Oh, I suppose so. I suppose so. Right. Oh, we want to get our hair styled as well. Hello, Ginter. Oh, no, he doesn't have any new items just yet. I think we need to catch some Pokemon. Hello, hello. There's a Pokemon I think would be perfect inspiration for some new designs. It's a species called Shellos, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives with different colouring too. If I could just compare its different forms, I'd certain I'd be filled with inspiration. Could you show me Shellos' different forms? One can be found in the Obsidian Field lands and the other out in the Cobalt Coastlands, which we haven't actually been to yet, I don't think. All right, we have a lot of new side quests. Hello, it is Photo Guy. Hello, hello. Thanks again for lending me a hand with getting that photo of Baneri last time recruit. Everyone in the village sure loved it. I was hoping I might get your help on another little task. In fact, would you take a look at this? Hmm. Oh, he's after a dust school this time. Rather eerie, wouldn't you say? That thing was so close and yet I had no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say with any certainty whether it's a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognise that thing in the photo of some Pokemon that truly exists out there in the wild, I'd like to see it. I'd sure love your help in this. Say no more, sir. Leave that with me. I don't think we've actually encountered Duskull yet. And he's gone. Righty-ho. I think we're all done here, so let's get a haircut. Hello, hello. Hey there, in the mood for a style change? Yeah, why not? Let's see what hair options they have. This could be very interesting. Grab yourself a seat, right? What are we talking here? Talking a nice fade or short? Messy, oh wait, it doesn't actually show you until you like click it. Let me see. Ah, uh, ooh, bit, bit too long. Sean, middle part, nah. Side part, that ah, looks pretty cool. Cold, braids. Yeah, I kind of like it short. Kind of, yeah, kind of works out. Chestnut, we've got slate. Gold, golden hair. That would be very cool. We've got white hair. Uh, or peach pink. I think we'll stick with chestnut, actually. I like chestnut. Uh, what is this? Eyebrows. Yeah, again, chestnut. So, all in all, I'm probably just not going to change my hair. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll stick with our standard hair. Thank you. You got it, fella. Here goes nothing. Just to trim off the top there. There we go. Looks good as new. Exactly the same hairstyle. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Last thing, hat or no hat? Yeah, I'd say hat. Yeah. Well, that was a waste of money, wasn't it? Ah, well. Drop by again anytime. I'll keep polishing my skills. Alrighty, ho. Off we go. But before we do, we've got to check in with Eugene over here. Eugene looks to be doing well. Right, here we go. Ooh, I wonder what our next mission is going to be. I have a feeling we're going to unlock a new area. So, uh, we've got Professor Lavington over here. What's on the whiteboard? Blackboard, even. Uh, which one will you check? Krogunk's Curative Poison. It seems that Purcell, the captain of the medical corps, intends to make some medicine using Krogunk's poison. Find out what help she needs. Okie dokie, will do. And that's it for now. So I think we just need to head all the way up. I think this is where we need to go. Yes, yes, let's have a little looky here. Sorry guys, I know there hasn't been like no epic drama or action this gameplay video. I think we're just catching up on bits. Hello, Commander. It is I. And it is that lady. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Very interesting. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Okay, interesting. Uh, allow me to explain. Hello, Irina. 
We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We also have received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around fire, fire's pit. Is it fire's pit or fire spit? I'm going to say fire spit island. These are serious concerns and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Alrighty guys, looks like we have another main mission. Here we go. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. On all the missions in this game, bewildering situations. I'm sorry, Raikaien. Yeah, don't stress about it. We're kind of used to it by now. Think nothing of it, Raikaien is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. Stop it, guys. Stop it. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Raikaien quelled the Lord of the Woods. I have seen both his strength and his kindness at first hand. All right. Hello, Captain. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. Okay, sounds good. You know your mission. Investigate Fire's Pit Island. All right, head to the Cobalt Coastlands and speak with Irida there. All right, guys, we are off on a brand new adventure. Here we go. All right, let's head down. Here we go. This game is just so good. It's ridiculous. Oh. I kind of figure we might have a cutscene here. Ah, if it isn't Raikai in. Ah, oh, it's Cowboy. Cowboy boy. Man, Cowboy. I don't know. It's Cowboy. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? We are going to the Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Pauline is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. I believe he's referring to evolution stones. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the survey courts want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be a very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of, a, of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinner used to create the universe. That is, that is a lot of power, guys. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Uh, oh, thank you, Leon. That will come in very handy. As uh, And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. All right, very helpful advice there. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Oh, there we go. So we have Jubilife Village, Obsidian Fieldlands, Crimson Mirelands, and we now have the Cobalt Coastlands. Let's head on over there. I'm excited to explore a, a brand new area. I wonder what new Pokemon will await us, guys. Look at that shock in his face. That is... Beautiful. Woo. We have finally unlocked the Cobalt Coastlands. 
<laughs> I'm still in shock, apparently. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands is simply a lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? My, my jaw is just dropped. It, it just won't stop. Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Uh, yes, about Fires Pit Island. Where is it? Hmm, indeed, Fires Pit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you speak to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Okie dokie. Alrighty guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, video here. I feel like we've caught up on a lot, we've explored a few new areas and we have finally unlocked a, a brand new area, the Cobalt Coastlands, which I cannot wait to explore. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series so far and thank you so much as always for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay episode.